hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel so today's video is actually going to be a little bit different so it's going to be a cheat chat i'm going to tell you from the video from the title as you can see i actually watched a video of a fellow youtuber she's called Lifa. i'm going to link it down in the description box she actually talked about she talked about the the, the bath how are they called tribal marks and then she talked about boarding school oh my god and i felt like whatever she was actually saying was hitting on me whatever happened to her actually happened to me so i decided to do such kind of a video from her inspiring me to do that and make sure you check it out it's in the description box she's actually a nigerian youtuber yes so she also does makeup and beauty so we are going to be chit chatting doing everything doing makeup at the same time talking my experience with boarding school oh it was hella so we're going to start with the brows first so anyway let me let me quickly tell you how it all started so i come from uganda kampala so it's a country in east africa in case you're not familiar with it i grew up in a family where like i used to go to school like a day school a day scholar obviously but when i reached a certain level i think those are some of the dangerous level right? my dad decided to take me to a boarding school so i joined a boarding school when i was in p6 yes so it's primary six i don't know i don't know where it's coming from but for us, I was in P6, close to finishing my primary level. So let's get started. I was looking for my spoolie. So I grew up in a family. Like I used to go in the school and I was this kind of a person who never knew anything about taking care of myself, like being alone in a separate environment from my family. So all of a sudden, my dad decided to take me to a boarding school. So, okay, I cried like... I cry to be honest with you because this is not something that I really wanted but what to do so my dad took me to a boarding school and should I mention that should I mention the name of that school so it's actually in it is in Chibuli so it was called Nordin so I was taken to a boarding school first 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 day I reached to school that was when I really saw that you know what it's getting hell <laughs> oh my god so they took me to the school they actually did me shopping and everything that I really wanted but then I found kids that actually like these kids were actually used to the boarding school they knew everything about boarding school they knew how to bull you know to bull kids they knew each and everything about boarding school i was so innocent i never knew even <laughs> obviously i knew how to wash my clothes and do everything but what shocked me is the way these kids welcome you they welcome you with a lot of love they welcome you with a lot of they show you that fake love but i knew why they usually behave so well to newcomers so it's because they wanted to take everything that you had okay apart from the food and everything that was okay that is mine let me not even talk about that so let me let me actually talk about this it was a muslim muslim school so this it was actually mis a mixed school so there were boys and girls in the school so surprisingly two days they actually found a letter from a guy you know and i didn't know i swear even okay right now let me say of course no one is going to come and kick me out no one is going to come and beat me so bad no one is going to blame me no one is going to take me to court but i did not have any idea of where that letter came from I feel like I feel like even talking out the names of these girls because this was hell. So I phoned they phoned a letter showing that it was from me to a guy. Mind you, this guy was actually a Somali guy. Yeah, I remember. He was called I think it's okay now for me to say out 
the names because you know we all grown up we actually don't even remember all that crap but he was called bash i remember very well he was called bash so they started saying that i wrote a love letter you know i was so young so they told me that i wrote a love letter to that guy i received fire in my honest no on my eyes i was beaten you see where we come from like punishing a child in school is nothing like they chop you they beat you they beat you so so well that you can even feel your intestines you know shaking so that happened i was punished very very well and to be honest with you guys I, I i did not have any idea where this letter came i just found it in my books they they actually it's not that it's me who discovered it it's them who discovered it in my book so i was like okay so that was the first first welcoming note darling yes it was welcoming so they actually punished me i couldn't walk anymore so those are the days where you couldn't even call your mama to you know to explain to her what is happening to you in school or what you guys i think let me draw my eyebrows and then Yay, come back. i'm back i just did my eyebrows because it was distracting so where was i yo okay so these guys lied about what I was doing. They told me that I was actually hanging out with that guy and before God I wasn't I wasn't even interested in him. So they chopped my butt very, very well. And you guys, that was just the beginning. That was just the beginning. So the what these mean girls usually so they were these big mean girls and there were these petit mean girls so i met both of them you know all the kinds of those mean people you've ever seen life wasn't easy in my boarding school they did everything possible so it, sometimes i remember the incident that actually broke my heart even up to now whenever i remember it oh, got distracted with the kids so i was still telling you the thing that actually broke my hard to pulp is one day i was in bed i was sleeping and all over the sudden this girl got cold water very cold water so we, we used to wake up early in the morning at around 5 a.m or 4 30 a.m so they got this water that is really cold from outside they poured on me oh my god i remember that night my my bed got all wet and every time i used to remember that oh my god i let me tell you i've ever been in deep sleep and then someone comes all over the sudden they come and pour hot, cold not you know regular water this water was so cold so okay to count that aside that was my second that was my second welcoming note then that's when i woke up and i was like okay i think things are about to get tough i did not have a phone a phone to call my mom to, to, to explain and moreover even if i use even if i had to call her and tell her anything that was going through still she couldn't help because you know what they had put me in boarding and that was the time that i was supposed to hustle with my own life alone so the party began so my other ex i'm just popping out all the points that i can actually remember everything that actually happened so another thing was so i was in my classroom seated i, I wasn't actually doing anything i was just seated sad because my life was you know being ruined and i was i hated boarding with all my life and with passion so you know so a child a, a, another girl came in and she was like okay they need you in the office i was like okay so i went in the office and that is when i found okay i'm about to i'm, I'm about to bring out the biggest secret so that is when i found he was like a teacher so i found a teacher there and he was trying to should i say like he he wanted to grab me like he wanted should i should i even call it a rep yes it's definitely a rep so i resisted and then all of a sudden i went out of his office and you know i had to come back to my classroom so few days 
I forgot about and I never told anyone about it. So some few days passed and meanwhile I was in my class. I got you know, I got someone calling me that the what's uh, the stuff from in short, all the teachers need me to go there. So I was like, okay, what is happening? Oh, when I went there, <laughs> I found all the teachers seated waiting for me. I was like, okay, what have I done? I reached there. I don't know how it happened. I don't know how it all started. The girl was just before me, testifying, saying that he's, she actually saw me with the teacher. But that very, very, very morning they, that she saw me with that teacher caressing. And let me tell you, this as after some days have passed. So I was like, okay. I I was waiting for them to... I was actually waiting to hear them what they were saying. And the girl testified. And without, without forgetting, I received canes. I received the sticks of my life. All the teachers laid me down and hit me so bad. So this teacher, I think they, they had suspended him or something like that. And <laughs> the story is a bit longer. And this teacher, maybe, should I say they were dating with a fellow teacher without knowing? So they beat me. I went back to class. Of course, they, I was bullied. I was told all sorts of words from my classmates. They used to bull me out. They used to call me names. That's when I decided that my life was just in total, total, total mess. But I had to keep on going. I had to keep waking up every day and go to class. That was the first, that was, should I call it the, the third or the fourth? So that, that is past. So now another battle started of the teacher that actually thought maybe I was seeing her man. So that is also another battle i remember that i started the woman started hating so badly she started hating me so so bad she hated me to the fullest that even if i was passing in the compound she couldn't show the hate she has for me but anyway dawa i understand she may be thought but i wasn't even interested by that time, I remember I had a boyfriend who I had left home. And oh my God, <laughs> my entire life, <laughs> my heart beat was just hitting, hitting for him. Like, that is the only thing I remember that I was thinking about, you know, when I was leaving home. I remember very well that is the only person I was thinking about. I wasn't even concentrated in class. And I could just think about my cowboy friend. You know, when you're growing up and you're seeing this cowboy that is eating you up. All your heart, all your mind. So that is the position where I was. I wasn't even thinking about any other person. You know what I mean? You know what? Like, if I explain this to you, you actually know what I mean and mind you let me tell you i'm not doing this video because i actually hate anyone or i still have something on my head that hurts me so bad or what i'm just saying this because when i had laifa you know laifa i had laifa you know explaining what she went through with her you know her body section and the tribal marks i was actually you know i i thought maybe i could also share this because there are so many people who are going through that. And if you are a parent, before you actually think of taking your kids to a boarding section, I think you should first see what... Do you really need to do that? I think I should say that I will only take my kids to boarding if they ask me to. I stayed my eyes because I, <laughs> I was... I, I, I thought it was kind of distracting. There is one to give you all the tea. So another thing, you guys, let me tell you. I went through hell. And for those who have been in boarding section, especially if you're in Uganda or Africa, you can actually relate if you've been there. I don't know how it feels being, you know, 
here in boarding schools which is not so common but i believe some you know it's kind of different it's not should i say like that because when you're in boarding school you are supposed to do everything as per those bullies how bullies you know kids and let me tell you i i recently bumped into you know when i've given birth when we've all grown up i recently bumped into one of those girls that made my life hell in school and she said like i missed you i was like seriously she said oh my god jalia i missed you so much where have you been you all oh, look grown up what have you been? tell me what you're doing and i was like hi it's not that i i, I didn't forgive them i actually forgave them but you know you're always surprised by how you find people people how they welcome you so you'll be like what was going on in your head by that time when you're treating me but let me tell you i remember there are those days that you could find your things stolen you could find everything of yours taken everything that you know that you've you own so you just wake up and you find your books taken so those are all the worst worst experience they some there, there is a time that they reached and they don't want to share like where you eat from they don't want to share with you like a, a space where you are supposed to eat from so every time i could remember such things it actually makes me hate boarding schools for my kids i i don't think i can just wake up i understand sometimes it can be work and all that but i don't think i can ever wake up and put my kids to boarding schools and so you guys you know all that and you've gone through all that being intimidated by those kids at school it's kind of sometimes frustrating to wake up in the morning and you have to worry about the other person what they're going to do so because you don't know what they're going to do next you don't know if they are this time you'll be like are they going to murder me this time what are they going to do like they've done all sorts of things you've ever thought about so time reached i couldn't even concentrate in my books because every day i could wake up in the morning and uh, the only thing i was thinking about was you know getting worried about what these kids might do to me so time reached and these are the kids let me tell you i'm sorry to say but you know i was performing well in class I was doing really 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 well in class and if they need something from you oh my god you'll say these are the best kids you've ever met they don't show that ugly bad heart to you when they need something from you or you know if they need help from academics they always come to you ask for answers because at the same time you'll be scared what if I refuse what are they going to do to me like what are they going to do to me next if i just refuse to give them this what if i give them wrong answers and you know exams come out and i actually lie to them so you could wake up every day with a lot of fear what are they going to do next what am i going to face next are they going to murder me are they going to cut off my leg are they going to do it so with time i started catching up i actually started you know learning how to get harder like i had to get hard because now i saw that okay i think that was the first year this everything happened in the first year the, the the first year was hell to me that is the first year that you know wasn't good at all so the second year that was when i was completing my primary level that was when i was in p7 so I think life got a little bit easier, but not easy as you think, because these girls continue bullying me. They continue. So we had this, should I call it like a timetable where you have to like clean your hostels. You have to wake up every morning and mop the hostels, make sure that where you sleep is clean so let me tell you they used to use me a lot they never never cared about me they always every time i could wake up jelly should do this jelly should do that i hated myself at a certain point i felt so i remember my mom one day came to see me and i told her i told her mom i'm going through a lot but you know let me tell you 
my mom understood what i was going through but at the same time she couldn't help me like she couldn't get me out of school obviously and all she told me was you know wait until you're done with your papers and then you can go out of school so that's how it was so let me tell you so a time reached and i thought i was going to die because there was this moment when these kids could wake you up from the bed they pull you up so i remember we <clears throat> we got a teacher who was actually new and this she was so nice to me so one day i actually talked to her i told her each and everything that i was going through and you know how teachers can be they actually she asked me the names but i was like i'm scared to tell you blah 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 and all that but she told me no you tell me the names of those girls i can talk to them so i told her the names of those girls they actually they were cold and without knowing that i, I had brought the biggest biggest problem in my life so that was when also it all started again so they were called and they were told not to boo me again not to do this but instead it made it worse they bowled me to pulp they did everything i remember one day i was on i was sleeping and they came and pulled me down from the third floor to down so we used to sleep in in sections so the first one second third i was sleeping up so they pulled me down i remember one day they tore my bed sheets i i every time every time i could remember the the things that i went through while in boarding school they make me hate boardings a lot like i hate it to be honest with you um this kind of a person who hates boarding even if you just talk about it i just feel like vomiting because <gasps> so majorly that was my first year and the second year was kind of getting easier because i was used i knew that no one could do this or if you do this you get this if you do this you get this so second year wasn't all that bad but still it was hard because these bullies actually so this is how it actually got kind of interesting because now we're in p6 and we're going in p7 so these ones who are in p7 who are the main bullies they you know they had to go out i remember there is this sweet girl i i i i can never never forget her name she was called nakawesi she, she was called rahma yes rahma nakawesia she was some some beautiful brown girl so she became my friend so bullying was kind of getting because she could be like protecting me like if these girls wanted to attack me she could be the one to protect me so nakawes wherever i are i don't know where she is but you know she helped me a lot with those bullies so but time reached and she was actually going out so the bullies that i was actually remaining with these are the my very very classmates these are my very very classmates that i was actually left out with so i remained with my classmates who are my main main bullies and let me tell you life wasn't easy at all so we moved into p7 and hey we did first term second term third term so you could i remember very well one day i was so we were expecting parents obviously to come and see us it was a visitation day i laid my bed and these girls came and ruined my bed i don't know like if you are there right now we are all grown up if you are there what do you like by that time what were you thinking if there is anyone you've ever bowled and you actually know what you've done i'm just asking like how do you feel if you bowl someone do you, does that make you feel better does that make you feel like a better person i i don't know i always want to ask such questions to bullies like if you bowl your fellow fellow student does it make you feel good if you see someone crying does it make you feel good i have so many questions and now we are you know we are all grown up we are mature we no one is going to hit you no one is going to blame you for what for what you did or what but i just have that question in my heart that whoever is bullying do you ever think 
about the other person or you just do it because you love it and after you you you've done it like you love it do you get anything out of it like do you feel happy when you're doing it at that time i understand you would say that you know what we were young by that time we were young but okay tell me if obviously nobody is going to tell me if you've ever bowled someone but i just ask myself tell me how are you feeling oh, actually messed up how are you feeling by that time when you see this person crying out when you see someone else dying you know because it's like killing someone i reached an extent of thinking that i'm going to die because i told you one day they pulled me up from bed to down and i actually hit my chest so i was like i i, I one day i asked myself and i was like i just imagine if they just call my mom and tell my mom that you know what your daughter is dead so i always thought about that moment in my life and to be honest i thought one day it may come to pass because i went through a lot and sometimes when i even remember that i cry because i was so innocent so time reached and we were about to go out of the you know out of the hostels and we were about to get back home so we went out and my fear now was my dad to take me back since i was starting secondary i was scared that my dad might take me back to the boarding boarding section and if you're watching this video or if you've ever watched anybody's video let me tell you something never never bull someone because you don't know where we are heading i've met I'm not trying to to sound me you know what but i've met some of these girls that made me go through a lot because obviously i started youtube and they see me sometimes they send me requests on facebook they dm me on my instagram they try to be like hey this is her, 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 her. do you remember me we went together in school and i was like yeah i can never forget you so you can never know when you might need this person so i met another girl who also had business she was doing business in uganda so she was like hey julia if you give me a shout out blah 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 and mind you she just came in my inbox and she's like hey my name is the i don't know if you remember me we're in school together and i have this such and such a such and such and such, 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 such a business would you mind like giving me a shout out so i was like wow wow that was like i don't say that you know it only bullying stops in only schools no it doesn't even there are so many people being bullied at their workplace even up to now so i shouldn't even say that it stops in school but even up to now people bullied at their workplace so it's totally totally not new at all so anyway, to cut the sh the story short, I accepted, you know, I replied to her, I was like, yes, I remember you, how are you? I should say, I'm good. So let me tell you. Uh, I think if she was good to me in the past, I would do it for free, but I refused. And don't call me men. And don't call me a word. I you know i usually ask for you know for i have a i have my own reds if you want me to give you a shout out on my ig or on my facebook because i have a bigger community on facebook so i told her you know what um i think it's going to be this and this and this and and she was shocked she told me oh no i cannot afford it can't you do it for me for free telling you the truth no i say no i told her no that's how the business works and you know i cannot do anything for you so that is basically like i just say if she was good to me in the past i don't think i would refuse to give her even a free shout out for her business but because she treated me badly in the past and i'm not saying that i hate her no it's not that i hate her but you know there are so many people who are ungrateful out there and they just want to use you and you know for their 
selfish benefits uh, I refused to be honest with you I refused and I meet lots of girls who just bump into my my videos maybe here on YouTube but let me tell you it's I guess I forgive you but we cannot be like I cannot surely like bring you closer to me like you be my perfect friend no that is the truth i i forgive you but i know where i stop like oh, should i say i try to remember what you did to me in the past no that is not what i'm trying to say but what i'm trying to say is that i know my position in your life so hey if you are there or if you are here watching this video learn to treat people well because you never know where this world is heading to so so anyway we have come to the end of the video so all in all i hope you enjoyed this video definitely subscribe in case you are new here in case you're just seeing me here hello my name is Yelia and we have come to the end of the video thank you so much for being around thank you so much for talking to me thank you so much for hey and see you